What's up everyone, JD Bar here, also known as Backlog Warrior. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to implement a color changing overlay background that flashes rainbow colors whenever someone donates and we're going to be using Stream Warrior Deluxe. So let's get started right away by going to the widget screen and we're going to create a new widget. We're going to hit the plus button and it's going to be called my dash overlay for the file name and my overlay for the title. We'll go to the edit mode by clicking the pencil icon for our widget. And we're going to start by setting a width and a height for our widget. Since this is an overlay background, we want it to be the same size as our streaming resolution. Mine is 1920 by 1080. And we're going to set overflow to hidden to avoid any scroll bars. We're going to add a new element. And it's going to be an image element, and I'm going to call it bricks because what I have here is an overlay background that I use in my streams. That is some bricks with a dark area for my webcam and a dark area for my stream chat. Basically, that is the background of my stage. And the way we're going to add this in is we're going to copy it. And then we're going to come into Stream Warrior here and we're going to click the folder icon next to CSS. This opens the folder with all of the widgets files. You can see right here my dash overlay.html and such and we will paste our image in here and now we can use this by typing in overlay.png for the source and that's basically all we need to do but i'm going to show you one more thing before we leave this screen to achieve the color shifting we are going to use the filter attribute of our bricks element and the way we're going to do that is there's a filter called hue-rotate, which accepts an angle and is used for shifting the colors on an image. For example, if I were to call hue-rotate 90 degrees, our bricks element sort of is bluish now. And if I were to go even further, like 180 degrees, now it's really blue. And as we increase the angle, it starts to shift through all of the colors of the rainbow. You can also see that when I did that, in the CSS box over here, it created a new rule, a new CSS rule for dot bricks, which is our image element, and it added that filter attribute with hue rotate. We can take advantage of this by using JavaScript to update this in real time when we get a donation, and we can cycle through all the way from zero degrees to 360 degrees to create an animated color shifting uh, effect. So we are going to use some JavaScript for this effect. So I'm going to get rid of this attribute since we normally want it to be the correct color and we're going to save that. We're going to go to our stage and we're going to add our widget element. I'm going to name it background. I'm going to set the source to see my overlay and where is it uh oh i need to set the width and the height perhaps 1920 by 1080 set the border to zero so we don't want the white border that's default on widgets and we're going to save our stage and we'll go to the dashboard copy the stage url and we'll add that into obs real quick it has a browser source that is 1920 by 1080 since that's the resolution that I stream and now we can see it's in OBS we'll just adjust our scene here so that way it all fits perfectly just like when I stream and there we go all right so now we have our overlay background set up on our stage and also set up an OBS but it doesn't do anything at the moment we need to write the code so that way it can cycle through a bunch of colors so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the widget folder and we're going to create a new text document. Except it's not going to be a text document. We're going to name it my dash overlay, the same as all the other files. And we're going to end it with .js instead of .txt. This makes it a JavaScript file that will be loaded with our widget when the stage loads in OBS. I have a code editor called Visual Studio Code that's free. 
but you can also use notepad for this and the effect should be the same it should all work so what do we want to do we basically want to create a function that handles uh, our donations so I'm gonna make this function called handle donation and our donation function needs to cycle through the colors of our uh, background element so what we're gonna do that is first we're gonna initialize a variable called target and we're going to use jQuery to select the bricks element which is in the widget editor bricks we saw that when we edit the filter here that it comes up as dot bricks so that's what we're doing if you're not familiar with this this dollar sign that is basically a function name for jQuery and it's used to select elements on a web page and all widgets are basically just web pages in stream warrior so we're using jQuery to select dot bricks we're also gonna make another uh, sorry we're gonna make a variable called hue and we're gonna initialize it to zero because essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dot bricks and we're gonna set the filter property to hue rotate and then some number of degrees right and so that's where hue comes in because we can put hue in there starting at zero degrees and what we're going to do is we're going to write code that will increment it by one which will give us the effect of color shifting if we do it you know with a like a one millisecond delay between each shift It'll become sort of animated so that's what we're going to do so the way to run some code in javascript over and over again with a timing delay is with intervals so we're going to make a, another variable called hue interval and we're going to set it equal to set interval and set interval accepts a function so we're going to make a new function called rotate hue and we're going to set the animation delay to one so this says run the function rotate you every one millisecond over and over and over again because that's what an interval does in JavaScript. So let's make that rotate you function real quick. Um, all right. So what do we want to do? When we rotate the hue, we want hue to be equal to hue plus one. This will increment the hue. Another way of doing that is saying hue plus equals one. Or you could do hue plus plus, but we're gonna do it this way. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use jQuery to select our target, and we're gonna call the CSS function on it. This is a jQuery function that expects two arguments. We're gonna tell it to define the filter CSS attribute to hue, rotate, and some number of degrees. I'm using an accent mark instead of quotation marks because what that lets us do is use um, template literals in JavaScript for this string. So we can actually just load in the hue variable directly into our string by putting it inside of some curly braces and a dollar sign. And what that comes out to is filter will be equal to hue rotate zero degrees and then one degrees and then two degrees every time the interval is fired. So that's everything we need in our rotate hue function. So if we were to run this right now, nothing would happen since this code will only run if the handle donation function gets called. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the StreamWire API if we were to go to StreamWire and hit this button, we're gonna use the StreamWire to API to detect when a donation happens. So we have this function here called sw.subscribe that takes an event name and a listener function. And it calls that listener function whenever event name is dispatched. So the event that we're using for donations is any tip. So we can do sw.subscribe any dash tip and that's in the events glossary in the manual uh, you can use any event with this with this function on any tip we want to run the function that we made called handle donation so we're going to save that 
And if we were to test it right now, the way we'd want to do that, we open OBS, we refresh the browser source, and we'd come up here, we'll make a new event called a new tip, and we can hit the bell icon. And I just realized that it played a some Mario music that I put in, uh, which would be play sound star dot mp3. I put it in there before in a test recording and forgot to save after I removed it for the tutorial, but that's okay because this is basically how you do it. Play sound, then the file name of the mp3, and then a volume. So that's why the music played. But you can see that the overlay background started changing colors, but it's not stopping, if, if you notice. Uh, it's still going, so we need to add some code to make our interval stop, because an interval runs forever in JavaScript unless we run a function called clear interval. Clear interval. It's kind of a tongue twister. So what we'll do is we'll set a timer, or a timeout rather, is what it's called in, in JavaScript, and it's going to run a function after 5,000 milliseconds, aka 5 seconds. And what this function is going to do is it's going to call clear interval on our hue interval, which tells the hue interval to stop running. Otherwise, it just keeps calling rotate hue every 1 millisecond. And then what we also want to do when clear interval is called is select our target, call the CSS function, and set filter to an empty stream. What this does is remove the hue rotate and it'll return our elements colors back to normal back to the original color no more color shifting so if we test this now we just got to refresh the browser source give it about five seconds to reconnect to stream warrior if we hit the bell you can see it rotated through the colors and after five seconds it went back to normal now, as a programmer, I'd probably normally put the 5,000 in its own variable called time. That way we can mess with the timing. Uh, and you might even want to make another variable called speed and use that for the incrementation instead of hard coding the number. Because if we wanted to make the animation faster, for example, we could just up this to like 5 refresh the browser source that way my overlay .js also reloads and we can run it again and it'll run a lot faster and there we go that's basically how you use javascript to flash some colors on your background overlay really fast when a donation happens you could probably do it using entirely the events and actions in stream warrior but it starts to get kind of complex since you've got this logic involved and it's probably just better to do it with JavaScript directly. If you learned something today, awesome. You should subscribe for more tutorials. We'll do more cool stuff like this in the future. If you were confused and didn't understand any of the JavaScript at all, that's okay too. I do more basic tutorials as well using entirely the events and actions. But today I just felt like doing something a little more technical. At the very least, I hope you learned how to create a overlay background widget in Stream Warrior. There are other ways to do this. I've seen some creative ways to do this using the stage editor uh, with div elements, setting the whoops, setting the background to a URL. That's one way to also to set a background. But what I like about making a background widget is that you can manipulate it using events and actions, and also with JavaScript. So I'll be sure to put this code in a paste bin in the description below in case you want to use it uh, and edit it yourself for your own purposes. But other than that, I think we're all done with this tutorial. So subscribe, like, leave a comment what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.